When Russian tanks and missiles began pounding Ukrainian cities, an extraordinary group of women journalists. This is Love Day Morris. I'm a correspondent with The Washington Post. My name is Siobhan O'Grady. This is Joyce Co., video reporter with The Washington Post. Came together to cover the invasion. Kyiv bureau chief Isabel Kershidian led the coverage. As her team spread out across the country, they weren't just covering Russia's lines of attack, they were also breaking new ground for women in journalism. We have done embeds, slept overnight at positions, come under intense shelling, um, risked our lives to tell stories about civilians and troops and to really show the truth about what is happening in this war. I think it shows that women can do frontline reporting. Reporting that uncovered evidence of war crimes. These cars are riddled with bullets and you can see children's jackets, you can see family photographs. Um, we don't know what happened to the people inside there. The level of atrocities that we had to cover were quite frankly shocking, essentially just following this trail of, of people who had been killed by the Russians. <laughs> Post reporters gained the trust of this woman, who told them she was raped and tortured by Russian soldiers. I felt like it was just so important that people knew about it. The atrocities of war will never be stopped if we aren't there to tell those stories. The work was dangerous, but the Post teams pressed on to cities under siege. We decided to take off this morning during what we thought was a break in the shelling to head south and to towns decimated by Russian missile strikes. There's still a lot of missing people here. We talked to residents who said that they know that there are people in the buildings. And seeing the devastation that they have left behind is completely visually overwhelming. Their stories captured the misery and resilience of ordinary citizens and the anxiety of expectant mothers. Our babies were being born in, in the bunker. They had to move the maternity ward down to the basement. They're spending sometimes months at a time in country, on the front lines, living in bomb shelters, working out of basements. And it's really important for us to understand the sacrifices that they're making to get us that reporting. The women of the Washington Post summoned their courage and reporting skills to document Russia's violent attacks on Ukraine. Risking their own safety, they turned out deeply reported stories rich with detail. These women journalists worked together, and through it all, they had each other's backs. You know, if I was covering that war by myself, I would not have lasted. But because I had especially these women by my side, I was able to do it. I think the bureau that we have now is a dream that many could never have imagined, to have a female-led bureau in a war zone in one of the most critical moments in global history. And I hope that no one um, who still doubts women reporters will after they see the work of the Washington Post women in Ukraine.